spice was a uh, program developed at berkeley and it was written in fortran so spice actually uh, stands for simulation program for integrated circuit emulation uh, which was developed at berkeley it was written in fortran and after some time berkeley decided that they cannot support this program anymore but it is it was a hugely successful program and became the industry standard and all over the world the major program for simulating circuits so uh, it was not about to die because berkeley had stopped supporting it many people then ported it to c and this program has been called by various names so the, it was some, for some times called c spice and then simply berkeley spice b spice however uh, that had lots of bugs and because it was volunteer work and being done at different centers it was difficult to centralize everything then a team took over and they have called it new generation spice they have added some features to it removed many bugs and made it much more usable so that version is called ng spice new generation spice and that is the version that we have distributed to you and that is the version that we'll be using it's a circuit simulation program and as a circuit simulation program it it actually is very similar in terms of its uh, uh, interface to ir sim that you have already done however it is a much richer program compared to ir sim first of all it is very good online help and the second thing is that there are many kinds of analysis that you can do so ir sim essentially does a transient simulation that namely it gives you waveforms as a function of time right that of course is done by spice but apart from that the major kinds of analysis which you can do in ng spice is dc analysis in which case you apply dc and find out bias points essentially bias point analysis of all the things and you can sweep dc voltages and see the result of sweeping those voltages so that is the dc analysis in addition to that you can do ac analysis in ac analysis you set up the equivalent circuit and get the small signal response of a circuit okay so this is equivalent to doing it on paper but now having a more detailed version of this but this is a small signal analysis not a large signal analysis so that is ac analysis and typically because the signal is small what you have is a plot of response versus frequency okay so it is there are other things you can do but it essentially gives you a bode plot kind of output of a circuit okay then you have transient analysis this is very similar to uh, the uh, ir sim analysis in the sense that you plot things as a function of time you specify inputs as a function of time you want to see as time evolves how the voltages or currents in various uh, devices evolve okay so that's the transient analysis in addition to that there are lots of other analysis uh, for example there is one for noise okay so it provides a very rich set of analyses that you can do on a circuit you describe the circuit in a very similar style to ir sim but the number of components which are available to you are now very large because ir sim only knows resistors capacitors and switches okay whereas here you know jfet bipolar transistor all sorts of things okay uh, what i am going to do is to show you one amusing problem that you can do using a bipolar and one op amp simulation which you have already learned in the class okay what i suggest is that we do the amusing problem uh, definitely today and because you have notes for the op amp simulation i will tell you a little bit about how to proceed but you can complete it at your sites okay and that can also be a test of how well you have installed this uh, software and so on you are able to uh, run it or not okay this one is an image of the actual disk that you are going to receive so i am going to do everything from here so i go to the lab directory just just this is this is what your cd is going to look like initially so i'll go to the lab and go to spice okay now in this there there are various circuits and so on in particular you would see that there is this uh, op amp dot circuit yeah 
Okay, this is exactly the circuit that we have done in the class. So the entire thing is has been made for you. You can simulate it, and you can change the geometries, etc., etc., and see the effect. Right. So it it will plot the amplitude as well as the phase of the output so that you can see its stability, change the value of the capacitor, and so on. I'll just. So this is for simulating actually not the 9 transistors uh, op amp, but these are the various transistors M, those are, they have the same numbers MN3, MP3 etc, etc which we have in the tutorial. Okay? So you describe the circuit very similarly except that now each component has a name not just a type. So you have a name most of you have probably done P spice everything has used P spice before is there anybody who has never used any kind of spice? So everyone knows then I do not have to describe uh, how this input is uh, described but one advantage you have in this version of SPICE is that at the end of it you can embed controls meaning the commands itself it is like the CMD file of IRSIM. Okay? So you can say run this file then plot this number 20 star log so in dB you plot the magnitude and plot in degrees the phase okay, and then end of control. So between dot control and dot nc whatever comes that is like the command file of IRC. So it gets run for you so that whenever you run spice the plot already appears on the screen the very first time around then of course you can go ahead and change and do other things. Okay? So this is what I want to uh, want you to do essentially at home. Okay, this is what the file is but the point is that suppose you do not want to use this ready made file and create your own. Suppose the tutorial that we did in all that 628 micro Siemens kind of calculations. So uh, if you want to do it on your own how would you proceed then what you need are the transistor parameters right you need the uh, early voltage you need the K prime uh, all those things which we use. To get the conductance right and to do that there are these circuits. So for example this one will drop the IDVD characteristic of an N channel transistor okay? and then by proceeding the saturation characteristics back to the negative x axis you can find the early voltage. right? This one will plot the IDVG okay? for example this this will plot ID as a function of VG. And by looking at the slope of this, you can get K prime mu C ox, right? So these are standard techniques for getting these parameters. So those are also included here. So essentially, the idea is that first you run this on the special transistor you have. And now you are not using approximations, simple equations. You are using the full-blown model of that uh, silicon facility. Draw the characteristics, calculate the values of early voltage, K prime, etc., etc. Now go through that tutorial, calculate your own geometries edit those geometries in the uh, op amp dot circuit here okay, and now re-simulate. So the whole idea is that your uh, pain is minimized otherwise you know you do, do something and spice reports an error and then you do not know what is going wrong and by the time you have figured it out you have lost all patience. Okay? So here is something which is running and you only make incremental corrections to it to get your own device. right? So that we will leave essentially as homework for you everything is here first run it as it is in the tutorial mode as I said at that time then make small modifications run it and then write your own op amp and run it okay that is in the same philosophy that we have been following for the labs otherwise now this is this is the amusing part and let us let us look at this I will just read out a paragraph from here so that you can think about it a Baxenda tone control I am sure all of you are familiar with tone control. Okay? Any audio amplifier has a bass control and a treble control. Okay? Or you can have a spectral analyzer, you know, spectrum equalizer. So these are all called tone controls and the requirements from them is that they increase or decrease the power only in a given frequency band. Whereas the total volume as far as possible is left untouched. So in this what we are going to analyze is a simple 
base and treble control which control frequencies only below a certain frequency and above a certain frequency leaving the mid band unchanged okay the mid band should be controlled by the volume control because if you change the entire power then the uh, power entire power will change so we will design a circuit first the entire thing is given here and the corresponding uh, circuit is given uh, in the dot cir files here on your cd you will run it and it is a single transistor bipolar circuit okay one of the interesting things is for us is to ask the trans students to actually make it after all it is just a single transistor circuit can be breadboarded very easily okay and ask them to actually measure its uh, passband characteristics and they can just add it to their amplifiers and so on and make uh, awful is uh, awful sounding things actually <laughs> because they tend to boost the bass and create a lot of noise but essentially this is something which always generates a lot of interest in uh, students and it's a single transistor circuit that they can breadboard and use with their amplifiers so that's why i said this is an amusing circuit but everything that you require for this including this file which gives you all the notes all the theory all the circuitry okay so this pdf file is included and the corresponding simulation file is included and this is the simulation that we will actually do okay this documentation actually gives you the uh, the spice file as well but an electronic version of this separately is also available okay so this is what we are going to, i we are not going to have too much time today so this is what we are going to do in the lab leaving the op amp for uh, simulation at home.